My name is John Bergman, and I'm a registered drama therapist. I'm a board certified trainer in drama therapy. Um, I founded and ran Geese Theatre Company, which worked in prisons for many years, and I worked with prisoners and, and assaulted period people in the criminal justice system for nearly 35 years. Well, I really do two things, sometimes three. But the, the, the thing this time that I did was um, taught performance. The performance uh, is uh, essentially a very, very fast run through what ought to go and take five or six years. I mean, you know, friends of mine would probably spank me for what I'm doing, but you know, four sessions at most on Grotowski, two sessions on Clown, two sessions on, on Commedia dell'arte, two sessions on, on uh, Mask, two sessions on melodrama. I mean, obviously, it's a light touch. Uh, and then we created, we devised a show based on some high point moments that came during the sort of the, the working and learning of it. Um, it's actually tremendous fun because the, it's a way for people to go and learn about styles. You know, not everything is naturalism, not everything is, is realism. And, you know, and if you look at the big political companies, for instance, you know, Bread and Puppet or San Francisco Mind Troop, and you take a look at the strategies that they use. Commedia is a major one. Masks is another one that's a major one. So it's about, it's about giving students the chance to go and learn something that in many cases they've never actually learned before and giving them just an extra bow in there when they're working creating a piece. And drama therapy. So drama therapy is basically the sort of the foundation elements of it. No one's going to come out of there and be a drama therapist. The idea is that I'm going to go and open their heads to what happens when we look at the psychology that drama therapy opens up and see whether or not it's going to affect their playwriting. And in actual fact, tomorrow I sit with the students to actually ask them exactly that question. I'm very intrigued. In a way, applied theatre is just about the most giant paper bag that you've ever come across in your life. There's so much that fits in there. A simple way of thinking about it is theatre which affects change. Now, all theatre affects change. Good theatre, bad theatre, and sometimes any theatre. And that includes television. It's all theatre. But theatre that is directly for change, uh, theatre for the homeless, theatre for people with problems with, with rent theatre for, for people who are struggling to survive in the street and, and on and on. A whole list of things that society tries desperately to go and do something about and which theatre is capable of affecting quite fast changes. Drama therapy is part of that component so that it's about theatre for personal change, though it's also theatre for group change. Shan't go on and on about Augusta Boal, but for those of you who are watching this who know Boal, know that Boal is also part of a drama therapy approach. Some of these other techniques that I'm talking about in performance also fit there as well. Applied theatre is the use of theatre to go and affect a change in the society in which we all live. So you've got this complex, brilliant students who are, who are pushing you, politely pushing you, and you who are pushing them, and all the time you're refining your notion about what works and what doesn't work. This, this year has been very interesting for me in both classes that I teach. You know, um, a certain degree of, of, it's not just organization, but always the question, you know, what, is, what, what do they need from this? What are they getting from this? How is this going to go and affect them as playwrights? This really is a, a remarkable place. And it's a remarkable place because it's very disciplined. You will learn the discipline of creating something. This is really the most important thing. It's hard. No one said it's easy. Dear me, 
you know, the summer sessions, so much going on. You know, just make sure that you know how to go and float. But here's the really important thing for you. No matter who you are or where you are, you're in a community, you're, you're in South America, you're black, white, brown, it makes no difference. This is a remarkable place to be. And here's the really important thing. It has people like myself or Todd or some of the other, other teachers who are here who will support you. We're not here to trip you up. We're here to go and support you. We'll listen to you, we'll work with you, we'll try to go and help you through. Just send that piece of paper off to us and let us start to go and do the rest.